Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about yesterday? A boxing fiasco that was going on man oh you don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> well look let me tell you right now it is a whole lot going on in the boxing underworld you know we just had not too long ago Devin haney going back and forth with Keyshawn davis because Keyshawn davis was basically saying that Devin haney didn't say anything back to shakur stevenson and he was going back and forth and this that and the third well yeah move right on along with that move straight forward to the next matchup that i briefly covered was ryan garcia versus tank davis now you know a lot of people have been speculating saying that hey you know their fight gonna be announced pretty soon that they're gonna fight in december well you know upon my research i found that tank davis has a court date december the 12th you know around the same time that they're gonna put the fight, which I don't see how that is even remotely gonna happen. And he asked for a continuance, but that was denied. So, you know, he is gonna have to appear for this court case. And it was the court case dealing with that hit and run. Um, and, you know, just a sad situation as far as that goes with Javante Tank Davis. Uh, we don't know how that's gonna all fall in place or fall apart. But an incident happened that Ryan Garcia went to social media and claimed that him and Javante Tank Davis met in a club. He approached Tank Davis. Tank Davis, you know, was sitting with his entourage of people. And Ryan Garcia said that he walked up to Tank Davis and asked him, what's up with the fight? Javante stood up, faced him, and then grabbed his chain basically we'll let it go and people had to break them apart this that and the third and um you know hey i i didn't even know what to even think you know or say about it you know because of the incident but then javante tank davis himself he actually replied he replied saying you know that hey basically if it weren't for al Heyman, you know he probably would have messed up you know um, and a lot of people know Tank Davis is a, a pretty much a hothead when it comes to situations like that. He is a fighter. He is a boxer, uh, a knockout artist with a 95% knockout ratio. So that does kind of put him in a place to where you don't want to antagonize a guy like that. You don't want to approach a guy like that. And plus, this is outside of the sport. Y'all are at a nightclub. Why would you even approach somebody at a nightclub to try and get him baited into a fight? You know, that's something for your teams to do. That's something for Dela Hoyer, your promoters, to actually talk and negotiate because antagonizing another fighter in public only brings bad situations for real for real you're not going to get nothing good out of a negative situation that you're impelling yourself into so you know ryan you were you were wrong for that one first of all you know that's just like approaching somebody um that work at the grocery store uh at the movie theater and you asking them about apples and oranges <laughs> you know don't nobody like to be approached when they chilling when they off work and they're not in their work attire right so by you doing that it was almost kind of like the same but worst thing you're approaching a guy that is used to throwing his fist used to punching used to using aggression and he's in a club trying to relax and here's somebody bringing that aggression to him talking about where we go fight what's up you scared ain't you scared ain't no telling what right garcia said to him but Luckily, Ryan Garcia, your chain did not get broken. 
Uh, and Javante Tank Davis did let go of your chain. So I'm glad of that. Um, I just hope that this isn't all shenanigans that we have to see without a fight in the near future. I really do hope that the paperwork is getting done. I hope that the negotiations are actually moving forward. I hope that Ryan Garcia is not clout chasing once again. Uh, that he's been called out on many, many occasions by Javante Tank Davis before because it just seems like, you know, far as evidence-wise that when Ryan Garcia calls out fighters, they either ha have a fight that they're already signed up for or they're just coming off of a fight and, you know, a fighter just coming off of a fight is not going to uh, jump right back into another fight or negotiations for a fight right after one. A lot of times they like to take time with their family, their friends, their kids, their loved ones, spend time with them because they spent however many weeks away from them, away from their house, away from, you know, their things that they love. So, um, you know, we're going to just keep staying on top of this situation. I've been covering Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia since I started this um, over a year and a half ago. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll eventually either see a fight or eventually we'll know someone's not right. So um, Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia in my book, they both could step up their competition a little bit. Now, um, Tank Davis, you know, I, I can't front, you know, uh, Showtime knows how to match up an exciting fight thus far with Gervonta Tank Davis. But as you notice, a lot of fans and a lot of people in the boxing community is growing tired of the level of competition that he's been fighting. Now, Devin Haney did something no one else in his division was willing to do or try to do. He went to Australia in enemy territory, fought, and took the belts in someone else's home country. That, honestly, probably, a, I think Devin Haney is the first ever black young fighter to ever win undisputed in Australia. Think about that. Think about that. That's the level of disrespect he's been getting. <laughs> you know what I mean? If we keep thinking about more and more what Devin Haney has accomplished in his years of boxing, it would really blow your mind. He owns his own promotional company. He has his own team of young fighters like him. His dad has groomed him the right way. You think about it. You got a Benavidez brothers. You got uh, Sean Porter, his dad. You got so many father and son combos. You got uh, Teofimo Lopez and his dad. But no one has set up their son like Devin Haney, Bill Haney has done for his son. You know? Bill Haney has set Devin Haney up for success, not failure. Boy owns his own company. Boy cashes his own checks. The boy fights his own fights. And the boy is the youngest, undisputed, lightweight champion in the four belt era ever. The first and the only one. No one else. No one else. No Lomachenko, no Steve, no Shakur Stevenson, no Tank Davis. None of them other fighters accomplished what Devin Haney did. Devin Haney took the risk. He was a free agent. Remember? He was a free agent. Then they signed with the zone. Did that thing over the zone. Got some pretty good fights over there. Got Jojo Diaz. <laughs> and cleaned the slate with him. Then moved the top rank so that he could get the fight with guess who? George Cambosis. He did that deal because Bob Arum guaranteed him. Hey, you come over here with me, I get you that championship fight. Bob Arum recognized and realized that Devin Haney was the cream of the crop. And now look, getting ready to go back over to Australia and do it again.
defend his titles, his first title defense in another country, foreign land, again, with his back up against the wall. Remember in the first fight, they won't even gonna let his dad, his trainer, his coach even attend the fight. The government of Australia tried to do everything, and they did everything they could to give George Cambosis the upper hand, and he still lost. So, anyway, you know, hey, I'm going to keep y'all up to date with the Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis situation. So, you already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com, and cop you some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out till next time. Share the love.